most of y'all who know me, or at least many of you who know me, uh, know that for many years I've been studying the history and uh, operations of the old railroad that used to operate between Sevierville and Knoxville, the Smoky Mountain Railroad, which also was known uh, affectionately as the Knoxville Slow and Easy because of its original name, the Knoxville Se uh, Sevierville and Eastern. And uh, we even got a historical marker erected back in 2006 to commemorate that railroad. One of the things that I've also wanted to do for that my entire life almost is uh, to try to build a model of that railroad uh, in HO scale since HO is the scale that I've collected ever since I was eight and my dad bought me my first train set. So what you're looking at here is a collection of some of the primary pieces that I've uh, gathered since about 1989, uh, perhaps even a little before, but mostly it started about 1989 when I was stationed overseas. And these are the pieces that I'm hoping to use to recreate in miniature the Old Smoky or the Knoxville Slow and Easy. Starting off, uh, even though the KS and E or the, the Smoky Mountain had steam power, uh, it also had a single diesel locomotive which was leased from the A.J. King Lumber Company of Sevierville, which was a 44-ton locomotive, General Electric 44-tonner. Uh, these three models represent that engine and two others like it. There is some modification I'm going to have to do, and obviously much of what I have on this table is unpainted, so uh, I will be painting and lettering most of this equipment, but these are the 44-tonners that will be the uh, backbone or the muscle, if you will, of the new Smoky Mountain Railroad and HO scale. I also have a 35-ton unit, which is kind of a, uh, almost a fictitious type of unit. Uh, GE might have built this engine, but it was much smaller in appearance than this one. Uh, this was an interim engine that I purchased before these were available. Then you have a gathering of old uh, varnish or old wooden passenger cars of various types. Uh, in particular, the Smoky Mountain operated one which was a uh, converted day coach like this one, but it ended up looking more like this one with a large cargo door or freight door in the side. That was number 102, and this car is intended just to represent number 102 until I can modify these uh, these two day coaches into a car like it. Uh, this is a business uh, car that or executive car, which I purchased solely as a an attempt to uh, recreate the car owned by uh, William J. Oliver, who was the founder of the Smoky Mountain Railroad or the KSNE actually. I have about nine flat cars, little short uh, 30 foot flat cars like this, unassembled, unpainted, and these are all uh, craftsman kits, uh, simple to put together, a little harder to paint and letter, but we'll take care of that. But these represent the Smoky Mountains flat cars. Some additional flat cars with actually which have uh, side uh, rails installed, uh, what is known as truss rod cars. Uh, older and shorter and then your modern day cars. The Smoky Mountain had a couple of cabooses. Uh, they were not like these. These are known as a four-wheel bobber caboose. Operated a lot on logging lines and short lines of the late 1800s perhaps or mid to late 1800s, early 1900s. I bought these because I just like the looks of them and because they'll fit real well with the uh, shorter locomotives that we'll be using. So those are two brand new painted but unlettered bobber cabooses. We've got some 40-foot uh, gondolas here, steel gondola cars for your metal, rock, coal, whatever you want to stick in them as a load. All unpainted, undecorated craftsman kits. Then we have uh, some particular kinds of cars. The box cars, which are very close to what the Smoky Mountain actually operated. Uh, number 502 was a former produce car, a ventilated box car, if you will. This is what that car would have looked like before it was uh, converted by the Smoky Mountain. So I will make conversion to this one. And I have two others just like it. 
this is uh, these are 36 foot wooden box cars. They have the wooden ends, just like uh, well, they're not attached. They have the wooden ends, just like the ones on the Smoky Mountain did. So these are 36 footers, and they are unpainted. This one is a double door wooden box car with steel uh, ends, just like the Smoky Mountain purchased. It was the last car the Smoky Mountain bought. And then some more wooden box cars and steel side box cars with wooden ends. And finally, uh, these are the the uh, stock cars, the cattle cars, if you will, that I've selected to represent those that were on the KS and E or Smoky Mountain historically. They have also the wooden ends, which most of the cars on the Smoky Mountain did have. So those are the cars right now. Uh, I've got several more, but these are the primary ones that we plan on using for the Smoky Mountain Railroad NHO scale.